Hi, it's Andy again, and I have another uh, Java for Android developers tutorial. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about two more forms of operators. Uh, where I left off last uh, video, I talked to you about relational operators. Uh, that's what you currently see here. Uh, today's example, I'm going to go over two other operators. Um, or two other types of operators. One of them is just a solo, you know, case. The first one's going to be logical operators. Now, there's only three of these, so it'll be pretty easy. And I've already discussed one of them uh, right here on the screen. Uh, so it'll be pretty simple topic to go over. And then the second one is going to be uh, a conditional operator. Now. Um, it's going to be a little bit more of a complex co uh, concept for a conditional operator, but it's you know it's going to look funny, it's going to look weird, but I promise I'll explain how it how it works. <clears throat> so excuse me, um, <laughs> uh, my throat's a little dry. Um, so today, oh, there's other operators, but I'm not going to go over them in in uh, in this I guess series because um, a lot of them require knowing um, um, you know byte code and you know it's really not going to be necessary for when you're developing um, Android apps I have yet to actually see them being used and um, you know it's not really constructive uh, to get you up and going so um, I'll, I'll probably I'll link them down in the description of the other examples of operators but uh, I don't, I'm not going to actually go over them in this in this series. Um, okay, so basically, what logical operators do is we're going to combine um, some of these other um, forms of operators. So, uh, first one I need to talk to you about are and like. So, if we wanted to have two different statements both be true and only those two statements to be true before we do something uh, we'll need to use an operator um, called and and it's the logical and operator um, if we have and we have to have or so there's another operator uh, called the logical or operator um, and I'll describe that so that you know it's an either or case scenario and then uh, the last one is uh, is the not operator which you see right here uh, basically if something isn't true if it's a boolean or does not equal if you're dealing with uh, with uh, other forms of of data so this is this means not and uh, you know I've already explained to that in the last video so I don't really need to go over it here but I'll go over the and or or so uh, we'll need to wipe out some of these so we'll do we'll get rid of all but the two text views here we'll name this the uh, and operator and this will be the or operator okay let's save this go back here we can wipe these out ah, this is going to be a much simpler example here today <laughs> okay so let's call this and operator and this one or operator ah. okay So we know that A is 2 and B is 3. So we'll, we'll create a new statement that um, two statements would have to be true. So if A is less than B and 
Remember, you have to do it twice if you're um, doing an if clause. So if A is less than B and let's say B does not equal A, which these both would essentially be true, let's see how if condition is always true, that's fine. Or just, uh, let's see. So, and operator, we'll set the text to A is less than B and does not equal B. And this isn't going to yield anything, but we'll put a statement here anyway. Um, A either equals B or is greater than B. Because that's essentially what we're saying. If that statement isn't true, then that means that um, A is either equal to B or it's greater than B. Because remember, both these statements would have to be true. So over here, let's clear this statement. We're going to do another one that has to do with, um, um, let's see, if A is less than B, and then this symbol is called a pipe. It's uh, right above the enter key on a US keyboard. Um, you can hit shift and then that backslash, if you will, that you probably haven't used since, I don't know, 1993 when you're using Windows, I don't know, what is it, 3.1 or something like that, I don't know. Um, so the backslash key, which isn't really used in Linux, um, we use forward slash, but Windows would use backslash. That key, if you hit shift and hit it, that will give you the pipe uh, symbol, which is the vertical line. Okay, and that means or. So if A is less than B or A equals B, right? Boolean. It's not Boolean. Hang on one second. Uh, so I figured out my mistake. Uh, remember when we're doing this, when we're using equals, we have to use equals equals. So sorry about that. I uh, had a little brain lapse. So I've already changed also the or operator here. So let's change out our little statement. A would then be is less than or equal to B and then down here we would say A is greater than or equal to B. Okay, so when we run this in our uh, emulator, again I forgot to have it running ahead of time. Let's get our Nexus 5 going. I know, dead air. Rule number one in broadcasting, don't have dead air. So you get to hear me uh, complain about myself. All right, so our app is gonna launch. All right, so A is less than B and does not equal B, correct. A is less than or equal to B, which is also correct. So we've got both these statements because they're true, true statements. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take a little break here, uh, get some water and then I'm gonna discuss the 
other operator I wanted to discuss today. So hang on one second. Okay, thanks for waiting. I know for you that was no time at all. Um, okay, so the last one we're going to discuss is a conditional operator. So uh, we're going to change this. We're only going to have one text view now. Uh, let me go back into here. We'll delete that the last text view. We'll change this to conditional. All right, so we'll change this to match conditional. And we can get rid of both these. Because what I'm going to do is now I'm going to have the conditional um, operator go by uh, a string. So string um, value is equal to um, a is less than b question mark. And then the string will be a is less than b colon a is not less than b. Then we need to actually set our our uh, string. So we'll do conditional operator dot set text. Uh, value. Now what this uh, whole thing does is we have a conditional we have a statement here that's based on a less than operator. If less than if a is less than b we're gonna select this phrase. If it isn't less than b we're gonna select this phrase. And since a is less than b we should have this true statement actually going here. So we'll go here. We're going to run our application again. And A is less than B. So this is a quick way to determine if something is either true or false. Uh, probably your best use of this will actually be using modulus. This is how I've seen it used most frequently, at least in the examples that I've read. Uh, the modulus is pretty good to be t able to determine if something has a remainder or not. So if you divide it by two, if it has a remainder, it's an odd number. Um, if it's not, then it's even. So by that, you can then say, okay, well, if it's an odd number, I only want one row. But if it's even, I want two rows. And that's a nice way to use this um, conditional statement using a modulus to determine the out um, to control how your app is going to look like so um, if you want to do some reading you can do this with grid view if you have grid view you can determine um, you know how wide something is and say okay well two rows will fit I'll do two rows um, if not then I'll do one row and so you can have a variable um, appearance with very little code. And, uh, you know, that's one major advantage of using this type of operator. Okay, well, that's my video for today. Let me know if you have any questions in the, in the comments section below. And uh, have a good day. Happy coding.